One in four Australian teenagers are overweight or obese. Up to 90% of people who are obese during their teenage years will be obese during adulthood. Obesity can negatively impact nearly every organ system and can cause serious lifelong consequences, including inc increased risk of heart attack, fatty liver disease, diabetes, alongside a whole range of psychological and social complications. The best approach to managing obesity is diet and lifestyle change. However, changing our habits is never easy and there is definitely no quick fix. We also know that being a teenager isn't easy. Nevertheless, our teenage years are a time of growth, change, development of responsibility and independence. It's a time when we can start to tackle these lifestyle challenges head on and develop positive habits as we transition into adulthood. So that begs the question, why are there so few clinical programs that aim to tackle teenage obesity? And what happens when these programs finish? Are teenagers able to sustain the changes they've made as they become young adults? So this is where this PhD thesis comes in to help answer these questions. So to start off with, before we dive in and develop these programs, we need to figure out what will actually be helpful. And this comes down to knowledge creation. So to do this, we will undertake three different studies that ask three key questions. For our first study, we will ask, what do teenagers actually want? We will interview teenagers to see what they think is useful, what they think is practical, and what we can do to support their needs. This will give teenagers a voice. From here, we can work together. Our second study, what are we currently doing? We are going to evaluate a large weight loss study for teenagers to see what health professionals are currently recommending, the acceptability of our recommendations, and whether teenagers can en enact these changes. Our third study, what do we already know? We are going to review the literature to see what has and hasn't worked so we can build on what we already have. Overall, these three studies will help us to decipher what is needed to support and encourage teenagers to lose weight and sustain their weight loss. In Australia, we pride ourselves on providing client-centered care. This knowledge creation will ensure that our recommendations are truly client-centered and will help us to make sure that we get it right. So, one in four Australian adolescents being overweight and obese, we can change that statistic. We will only know what we need to do if we ask. Thank you.